England award a first cap for Stefan Armitage, younger brother of fullback Dylan. Andrew Sheridan is the other change in the pack. He's at prop in place of Tim Payne. Steve Borthwick leads the side. In the backs, Andy Goode comes in at fly half to start his first England game since 2006, while at scrum half, his former Leicester teammate Harry Ellis celebrates his first start since 2007. Italy prop Martin Castrivani is back for the first time in almost a year to bolster a pack in which six of the eight have over 50 caps, among them Sergio Parise, who captains from number eight. And with injury creating problems for coach Nick Mallet, he's been forced to play flanker Mauro Bergamasco at scrum half after three number nines reported injured. And in keeping with the family, brother Mirko switches from centre to wing. A sensational start for England. A try inside the first two minutes after an Italian error at the line-out, just yards from their own try line. Good work from England's forwards to keep possession. And Harry Ellis feeds to the returning Andy Goode, who kicks through for the first score of the 2009 Six Nations. The fly half, now with French club Breve, converted for a 7-0 lead. After Good missed the chance to extend England's lead through two misdirected penalties, another Italian error gives England the turnover. James Haskell flicks the ball to Ellis, who evades the challenge of Castro Giovanni and slides over the line for his third international try. Good misses the conversion. It's England 12, Italy 0 after 17 minutes. Italian coach Nick Mallet must be ruining some of his selection decisions. A loose pass from scrum half Mauro Bergamasco over the head of Gonzalo Garcia. Good seizes the opportunity and Wasps' Ricky Flutie is quickest in the chase to touch down under the posts for his first international try. Good converts before both sides trade penalties. England lead 22-3 approaching half-time. But it doesn't all go England's way. Haskell is yellow carded for tripping Canale and the Wasps' blind side is in the sin bin. Shortly afterwards, Italy score another penalty to make it 22-6 in England's favour at half-time. Changes for Italy at the turnaround. Mauro Bergamasco replaced by genuine scrum half Giulio Tognolatti, winning just his second cap. And it appeared to make a difference until 14 minutes after the restart. Flutie offloads to Ellis, who's offered a canter. No Italian defender can catch him, and Ellis just manages to evade the challenge of Andrea Mazzi. Good converts. England lead 29-6. Italy's first real chance comes midway through the second half when Dylan Armitage collects the high ball. But he's too slow with the kick. But Alessandro Zani knocks on before Matteo Praticetti heads for the line. Agonising for the Azzurri, but they can at least be cheered moments later when Shane Geraghty is sinbin just three minutes after coming on as a substitute. Ten minutes later, the visitors did strike. Italy five yards out from the England try line, putting real pressure on the England defence for the first time in the match. A fine passing move ends with Canale finding Kane Robertson, who holds on before feeding Mako Bergamasco, who bulldozes over the line for Italy's first try. With less than ten minutes remaining, it's England 29, Italy 11. But England hadn't finished yet. Ben Foden, winning his first cap at scrum half, spins the ball left. Good, Dylan Armitage and Cueto darts for the line. The try is given as England stretch their lead to seal a convincing 36 points to 11 victory. How much coach Martin Johnson will have learned from a relatively straightforward win, one can only guess. But a much-needed victory from an England side who'd lost five of their previous six tests. Final score, England 36, Italy 11.